I heard a fly buzz when I died. The stillness in the room. It was like stillness in the air between the heaves of storm. The eyes around had wrung them dry and breaths were gathering firm. From that last onset when the king be witnessed in the room. I willed my keyscapes, signed away what portion of me be assignable. And then it was there interposed the fly. With blue uncertain stumbling buzz between the light and me. And the windows failed and then I could not see to see. There's a certain slant of light by Emily Dickinson. There's a certain slant of light, winter afternoons, that oppresses like the heft of cathedral tunes. Heavenly hurt it gives us. We can find no scar, but internal difference. Where the meanings are none may teach it. Any, tis the seal despair. An imperial affliction sent us of the air. When it comes, the landscape listens. Shadows hold their breath. When it goes, tis like the distance on the look of death. You love me, you are sure. I shall not fear mistake, I shall not cheated wake, some grinning morn to find the sunrise left, in orchards, unbereft, in dolly, gone. I heard a fly buzz, the eyes around had wrung them dry and the breaths were gathering firm. For that last onset when the king be witnessed in the room, I willed my keepsakes when I died. Water is taught by thirst. Land by the oceans past. Transport by throw. Peace by its battles told. Love by memorial mold. Birds by the snow. So I chose They Shut Me Up in Prose to annotate, and um, this is what I think it means. They shut me up in prose, so in the first line I noticed that um, it was in first person, so I think Dickinson is talking about herself, and um, prose is like ordinary language, so it kind, it kind of is... Um, the opposite of what Dickinson does because she's a poet and usually poetry is not in prose so it's kind of like um, she feels trapped by um, prose and it could also represent societal conventions as when a little girl so when Dickinson grew up um they put me in the closet so she as she was growing up she felt really trapped because um it was like other people tried to silence her and the closet is kind of a dark and scary place so i don't think it was um good for her creative mind and um because they like to be still. So this further emphasizes how um, repressive and how her childhood was full of people trying to contain her. Um, also for the girl, it's like capitalized. And I feel like all the nouns are capitalized. So, but I felt like um, it emphasized girl to emphasize like the gender roles and how um, girls growing up have more difficulties than, um, than boys because um, female poets face more um, criticism. Still, could themselves have peeped? So um, she's saying if they had tried to understand her, and seen my brain go round and tried to look inside her brain, like try to understand her, understand her creativity and the way she thinks.
they might as wise have lodged a bird. So here she compares herself to a bird, and she's saying that she's a bird who needs to be free, and but then she's trapped for treason in the pound. So she's saying that she's a bird who is trapped in the pound, and she cannot express her creativity. And the way she does that is through poetry, because she finds freedom and joy in poetry. And、um, himself has but to will, and was a star. So I feel like sh- she's saying she only need to have the will to escape,、um, escape、um, ha- to、um, the containment. And then、um, she says there was a star. So it's kind of like an omniscient, all-knowing figure, like God, looking down at her, look down upon captivity. So again, she's saying that she's trapped and left. No more have I. So she can leave her captivity through poetry, because it's what she really enjoys, and that's her way of finding freedom. And、um, I noticed that only like round and pound rhymed in the whole poem, and it's really not uniform. And there's like a lot of dashes and a lot of random capitalization. So I feel like the not uniformness of the poem also、um, contributes to the theme of freedom and just doing things her way. A noiseless patient spider. I marked where the little promontory it stood isolated. Marked how to explore the vacant, vast surrounding. It launched forth filament, 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 out of itself, ever unreeling them, ever tirelessly speeding them. And you, O、oh, my soul, where you stand, surrounded, detached, in measureless oceans of space, ceaselessly musing, venturing, throwing, seeking, the spheres connect them. Till the bridge you will need be formed, till the ductile anchor hold, till the gossamer thread you fling catch somewhere, O、oh、my soul. A promise to California, or inland to the great pastoral plains, and on to Puget Sound and Oregon. Sojourning east a while longer, soon I travel toward you to remain, to teach robust American love. For I know very well that I and robust love belong among you, inland and along the western sea. For these states tend inland and toward the western sea, and I will also.